what we're doing here is the um, stage four uh, clutch kit that we that we do here in house. As you guys know, we get used engines, we tear them apart, either rebuild them or reseal them, whatever the customer wants. And from there, if they want a, a stage four transmission, then we'll go ahead and rebuild that. Perfect example. This one we took it apart. The truck, the the engine transmission were mated together. They're they're matching set. But when I went and opened it up, this here's your uh, pump gear, and look at how it was. Hey, what up? Hey, what's up, Samson? We're back. Hey, what is what is that? It's a hat? Yeah. Yeah. It's new. I don't think I've seen that yet. No. Wait, and what is that sticker, sticker. on there? Are you one of those guys? Fresh. No. Oh. I just pulled it out of the bag. <laughs> Wait, so can you, you can get one too if you want. Really? So we sell those online? Mm-hmm. Sure. I do. Nice. Just yeah. a little plug. New predator hats. You can buy them online. Get your Anyways. Hat. So enough with the plug-in. There we go. Welcome back to another vlog. We're gonna wander over here to the black truck. Drift right now, we're doing the Alpha interior like we have on a few trucks lately. Well, the uh, body's back on. Last time I had on. this, yep. body was off, yeah. and now it's on. Yeah, this one's gonna be cool, actually. We're taking a, a set of uh, Alpha seats. Uh, they're the entry level, the cloth style. We're gonna redo them, leather wrap them. Magic Hands Roar, he's gonna work his magic on those. Get this dialed in. Alpha Dash, Alpha interior. So it's another one of those trucks Kind of like that four-door hardtop that was a 94 converted to an Alpha. This is gonna be the wagon that we're gonna turn into that Alpha. Duramax build, everything else under the under the hood. So pretty cool, kind of shows where we're at. We're doing the sound deadening, we're, we're getting everything sorted out. This is one of the trucks that we kind of pre-leaded to on one of the other early episodes where they had all those memorable wires and everything was sitting here. Oh the yeah, fuse so boxes not, not the, the big boxes. turbo one. No, no, okay. no, that one's that black. Yeah, that's that black. Yeah. So, done. over there. So, nice update. I mean, it's coming together yep. quickly, you know. It was good. I mean, we watched the motor be on the frame, the body getting dropped. Now the hood's back on. Now the interior's all out of there, scraped down, so. This one took a little progress. unique turn. Um, talking with the customers out of Chicago, there's a lot of salt um, used on the roads, ice abatement, everything else. So he wanted to go, he's got a full coating on the bottom side of this body. We may even go as far as to do our Viper front and rear bumper out of stainless. So that's gonna be pretty cool. We've done some unique metals on that before, but never a front and rear bumper, rocker panel protection in full stainless. So that'd be pretty neat. So, so there's that. Nice. That, one's that one's gonna be ongoing, give you feeders, little teasers as that thing comes along. But we do wanna get this thing done soon. What's up, Flo? What's going on, guys? What you got going on over here? This here is a C1, C2 housing. Uh, cleaning it up, I just got it out of the uh, parts washer. So yeah, I just got all these parts out of it because it works with um, detergent and water. So you, all these stuff, all these parts, you wanna get them out, dry them up before they start sticking. Because inside of here, you get, uh, you have bearings. Mm. You don't want them to like seize up. Yeah, right? they'll they can get they can get stuck, but as long as you air dry them, uh, as soon as they get out, you should be fine. And what we're doing here is the um, stage four uh, clutch kit that we that we do here in house. As you guys know, we get used engines. We tear them apart, either rebuild them or reseal them, whatever the customer wants. And from there, if they want to. A stage four transmission then we'll go ahead and rebuild that so perfect example once i uh, opened up this transmission um check this out let me get this out of the way um so this is this is a gear that drives uh your engine drives a torque converter spins it and the torque converter goes in here this is this is a little Ooh. puzzle here um that's not supposed to be a part like that right no no this thing uh came apart either one of two things somebody when they installed it um they didn't 
they didn't align the torque converter correctly to this gear so what happened is it ended up breaking Oof. or it could have been the fact that it just was loose and is spinning back and forth so the vibration broke the broke the gear this is for your pump so this drives uh the fluid inside your transmission therefore allowing you to drive if there is no fluid getting um pushed around in the transmission going through your solenoids this is your valve body right here so if there is no fluid going through here then you ain't going nowhere you pretty much are dead in the water yeah because it's not going to allow you to shift through the gears or anything like that or even engage into the gears correct? yeah exactly yeah exactly so that's that's one of the reasons why we even even if it's a if you're not going to get the stage four i still open up the transmission make sure that everything's still decent inside because you, you don't know where these um engines come from so yeah we get the the three-piece combo you got engine transmission transfer case and of course you get the wiring harness the computers everything that we need uh, to do these conversions on the hummers this is uh i was in 1000 that it took apart this morning uh you'll find it later on on the uh time lapse video So anyways, uh, anyways, I gotta go grab some parts. Okay. Uh, you wanna follow me or you wanna? Sure. So this is your parts washer right here. Put the detergent in it, put water, and it heats it up, cleans up parts pretty good. All the old transmission fluid gets washed away. Uh, parts come out fairly clean. It's hard to get like super built up uh, dirt, grind. By the, by the time I'm done, it, it will look like a brand new transmission. They're nice and shiny now from when we saw them last time getting out of the washer. Out of the wash tank, yeah. Yeah, yeah so now everything's going back. Uh, got everything all cleaned up. All bolts lined up, ready to go. Um, just going to start installing the uh, Stage 4 kit. Got the uh, clutches soaking up right now. And transmission fluid. I start putting this thing together. Nice. So I'm putting all the clutch plates in there and then putting all the gears back together. Yep. Put everything back together, all the planetary gears, uh, C1, uh, C3, C4, uh, C1 and 2 were already done. Uh, you'll see that on the time lapse video. Um, and then I'll just get to start putting this, this one together. Nice. So how long is it going to take you to put all this puzzle piece mess into a solid working transmission? Well, it should be about two hours. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Damn. That's yeah. quick. And once you do it, you know, 15, 20 times, you, know, you mm. get good at it. Uh, we're getting a lot of feedback 
uh, some friends in the industry, viewers are telling us, hey, we wanna see more tech stuff. So comment below, let us know what you think if you wanna see certain tech um, aspects on the show. Um, whatever that is, let us know. We appreciate the feedback. And also, we definitely appreciate you guys subscribing, watching the show. We have a lot of fun here. We do some really cool stuff. It's still work, but it's also probably one of the best jobs that I could imagine having. So again, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down there and uh, tune in next time. We'll see you soon.